Yo, what's going on, people? We got some questions, con comments, concerns. What is really going on? What is really going on? Apparently, Manchester City have entered the race for Declan Rice. And Arsenal have submitted two bids that were nowhere near the valuation that West Ham wanted. But apparently, now Man City are leading the race after just entering the race. So people are basically telling me, Man City walk into the room, Arsenal leaves. I don't believe it. Something is not adding up. And my point to you guys is, what's going on? What is going on? Is Eddie wasting his time? Is this not the transfer window that we wanted after all? Has all of this been a mirage? Or is this all West Ham's ploy to try to drive the price up? and to distract us from what's really going on, that Arsenal are leading the race, that Arsenal are Declan Rice's only option, that Arsenal are the only team that Declan Rice wants to go to. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen. Will Declan Rice end up going to Arsenal? Will Declan Rice end up going to, uh, to Manchester City? Or will Manchester United's £40 million bid plus Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay be enough? <laughs> that did happen, by the way. Anyways, let's get this comments. Let's get this comments in. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know where you're watching from. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Plus, there's some news about Timber, but you guys are not here for that. We've already we've already spoken about that. Kai Havers medical has been booked. We already spoke about that. And Thomas Partey, we spoke about him a million times in the previous video. But there is some news about him also. Let's get the show started. Bye. Here we go. Yes, 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 people, what's going on? It's Egal Talks with One. I'm back again with another video. And today we got to talk about all the latest going on with the Declan Rice deal. Yes, there's a lot going on with the Declan Rice deal. And it all started about, what was it, 10, maybe 8, maybe, uh, sorry, maybe 9, 12 hours ago? How long ago was it? I forget. But David Onstein reported earlier today that the Declan Rice deal is getting closer and closer and that Arsenal now have some competition. Yes, we now have some competition. David Onsen reported that West Ham have entered the race and now want to hijack the deal for Declan Rice. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And immediately after that, a lot of reports have come through. A lot of reports have come through. So let me just give you, let me just get you guys up to date on what's going on. Let me get, get you guys up to date. So this is what's really going on right now. Reportedly, West Ham have submitted a bid. Not too much information has come in on that bid. No breakdowns have come in on that bid. Then we had the Gundogan situation was one of the reasons. Manchester United apparently have also done some stuff. Then we had a situation here where they're talking about West Ham, of course, imminent offer from Man City. Two offers are going to go in, blah, 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 blah. Nothing happened yet. Man City have decided the bid uh, after calling West Ham. Uh, last Friday and, and informed them. I think this seems like West Ham in leaking information. West, West, Man City are going to bid, blah, blah, blah. There's more stuff going here where it's a hundred million pound bid will be hijacked, this and that. Of course, there's talking about there's talk about other stuff, Kai Havertz, medical, done, uh, but that's not what we're here for. Then here's another situation. New Team News Ticks talking about the financial power. He's speaking about how we've already convinced the player now a bid just needs to get accepted talking about West Ham, of course, the bid needs to get accepted. Declan Rice is keen to join Arsenal, uh, of course, even though Man City are interested. So that means he would rather join Arsenal than Manchester City. You can read it there yourself. And then there is, um, of course, the Manchester United bid, which was laughable at best. Manchester United uh, inquired with a few 40 million pound bid and two players. So 40 million pounds plus two players. They quickly rejected that as they want a hundred as they want a hundred million cash up front. That is what is currently going on with that. But there is more, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you guys. Let me give you guys all the latest juicy updates. So here's more from uh, from the Twitter verse. Um, of course, Declan Rice prefers to join um, Arsenal as he wants to stay in London. That is a key part in what he said. He wants to stay in London. Remember that for later in the stream, ladies and gentlemen. And then there's and then there's more here. Um, Rice is still Arsenal's to lose. This was an hour ago from Alex Goldberg. Um, he, of course, is in, in the know. And then Damasio comes out here with, with, a, with a Hail Mary. 
with a bomb. He says something that almost breaks the internet, right? And you know what it was? It's that Declan Rice to Man City is, where is it? Where is the Declan Rice to Man City? Here it is. He, the arrive of Rice approaching uh, confident of reaching an agreement. So there's, there's confidence that Man City will reach an agreement for Declan Rice. Now this right here does not make sense to me, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason why it doesn't make sense is because there's so many different ulterior points coming out left, right, and center. Now, let me give you guys what I, let me show you guys what I mean, because it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. So let's just look at, let's just look at some more of these, uh, these news articles, okay? So you have this here, article here saying Duck and Rice prefers to stay in London, although Man City are actually interested in bidding, right? Then you have other reports here saying progressing talks to sell him, West Ham are closer to reaching a price. It doesn't say who. You have other people saying it's Arsenal's to lose. You have another one here saying uh, he wants to join Arsenal. You have uh, talks about West Ham expected bid. You have conversations, but this is where it really gets interesting. Let me get the computer to read it to you guys as I don't want to confuse you guys. The expectation remains that Rice will join Arsenal for a fee that could top 100 million British pounds once add-ons are taken into account. There were indications on Thursday night that the transfer was rumbling towards a conclusion. Thursday night. So that's tonight. Tonight is Thursday night. As, yes, Thursday night means today. It's written uh, for the morning uh, newspaper. So today, right now, the Declan Rice deal could be actually getting done for Arsenal. But reports are coming out that he's close to joining uh, Man City. Why? Why would this be? Why would this be, ladies and gentlemen? It's because they have a vested interest uh, to, to report on everything. But what, uh, Manchester United are also interested in, uh, in, in, in the player. A lot of people are interested. But here we go. Declan Rice is still Arsenal's to lose, as Arteta very much wants him. Blah, 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 blah. But... Pep has been an admirer, and maybe people will believe me now. There's a lot of different reports going around, people. But the main thing that I want to show you guys is even the ex-West Ham employee is getting into it, saying um, we can report that Man City is expected to rival Arsenal, as, however, uh, reports uh, elsewhere. And then he even goes into further details and says that they could offer Calvin Phillips. Now, there is no official bid uh, that's been reported, from the Man City team yet. Yeah, it's an expected bid, nothing official, but this right here gives me some confidence that says the deal will get done. Now, with everything that's been just, uh, that you just read, Declan Rice wants to stay in London. His family is in London. He's currently based in London. He, he, Arsenal is based in London. He's gonna wanna stay in London. Number one, he, number two, he prefers Arsenal. He wants to he wants to join Arsenal, and even with Manchester City's interest, he still prefers the destination of Arsenal. Number three, Arsenal have now bid two bids, and Man City have yet to bid one bid. The bid that was reportedly expected to be bid today is expected. There's not actually been a concrete official bid from Man City yet. That's number three. Number four. Arsenal have already spoken to Declan Rice, and Declan Rice has already spoken to Mikel Arteta. Everything has already been done. The groundwork of the deal has been done, and and we've been speaking to him uh, and trying to get this sorted out for a long time. And he already knows where he's going to be playing, how we're going to be using him, and of course, West Ham have already had the due diligence with Arsenal since January. I personally think this was a last-minute ploy from West Ham to put out all the information to create some controversy and to push the pr price up. But in my opinion, I think he's still gonna be joining Arsenal. Let me know what you guys think. I put all the paper information on the table for you guys to read, and that's what it is. At this moment in time, there's no more information that we can give you on Declan Rice. Declan Rice, it does seem like everybody is saying that Arsenal are still the favorites, but, West, but Man City have entered the race, and so have Manchester United, but their offer was downright disrespectful. Now, in other news, there is other news with Thomas Partey potentially being linked to Juventus. I don't think anything's going to come from this at this moment in time, as they are offering us peanuts. Twenty, they're offering us twenty thousand, uh, twenty million uh, 
plus a player. Uh, sorry, twenty million. That's what they're offering us at this moment in time. So I don't think that's going to happen. Plus, um, if Thomas Partey was to be sold, I think Saudi Arabia would be the best option as they could actually offer us some decent money. But let me know, would you guys sell Thomas Partey or would you keep him? Um, and in other news, what else is there? Um, oh, there is the timber stuff. Timber is is kind of is getting closer and closer, but I don't believe that timber is yet done. I, it is getting closer and closer, but we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Oh, Runnerson is is on his way out for one million. What a waste of money that Runnerson deal was. Runnerson is absolutely a waste of money, and and he's on his way out of Arsenal Football Club, as the deal for Runnerson is about to go down very soon for one million. Um, so yeah, let me just get let me just run through some of these things for you guys. So the Runnerson deal, he's going to be going to Anderlecht, as there's interest from Anderlecht. Um, Eddie and Ketia also could be headed on his way. Uh, Thomas Partey links uh, to Juventus and Saudi Arabia. We're going to have to wait and see how that progresses. Uh, Kai Havertz, medical is done, and we're going to wait for the medical to be done with. Um, at this moment in time, Man City have entered the race, but I'm not too concerned, ladies and gentlemen. Calm down. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about yet. Uh, Timber deal is progressing. Fully agree. Uh, personal terms. We're just waiting for the bid, to, uh, the final bid to go in, so we can accept, so we can get the bid accepted, and, and we can do the rest of the medical and everything else. Kai Havertz is the only deal that's done at this moment in time. Um, let's continue to see what else there is. Lakonga is going to um, Burnley. That is already set. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we, I've already covered everything else. So that gives you a quick little synopsis of everything. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think uh, Declan Rice will be choosing Arsenal? where he'll be starting, be potential captain, stay in London, have all the familiarity and everything already sorted. And of course, don't forget, Man City have gone into bidding wars before for Jorginho, lost. Uh, uh, Cucurella, lost. Harry Maguire, lost. Um, there's been a lot of players that they've gone in for and they've either left the deal or they, or they just said, you know what, it is what it is. So let's wait and see. I think Arsenal is going to get uh, Declan Rice. I still believe it. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's my opinion, of course. This has been Arsenal News today. And this is a little bit of a, about what I think about the whole Declan Rice transfer. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you got up until this point. And leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comment section as I will try to get to all your comments, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of here. You Have you guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, good night, good night. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.